Hi, hello. Today, we are gonna be doing an acrylic pour. Strainer painting together. What a mouthful. I've been looking into acrylic pour painting for the last few months, and so apparently has the rest of the universe. I've had a few very bad fails and some successes. I did my first pour painting with a strainer the other day, and I loved how it turned out. So today we're gonna do another one. I thought it'd be interesting if we filmed it because I think I have the painting consistencies accurate, so they actually pour well mix well dry well for this i'm gonna be doing a bunch of different blues a light medium silver and a white this seems pretty thin to me so i don't really want to water them down more using this for the first time i only want to do a couple drops in each and it comes out in like four drop increments so i hope that doesn't f with my results too badly but we will see it's raining outside I'm in a garage, it's hot, it's humid. This is our fuzzy setup. I hope it focuses by the time I actually get to pouring. Ooh, we have little, oh no, little indents already. Oh no. This is a 12 by 12 canvas. We already have dents in it. Covering it over four cups to get a little bit better pour and be able to move it around a little bit easier. I have this new strainer. I've only seen people use plastic ones. Not sure what metal is going to do. Maybe it's just harder to clean off. This is a gigantic one. I got it at Marshall's last night. $6.99. Pretty good. Let's get started though. <laughs> personal i really like this how this turned out i'm hoping that the silver actually pops through and it's not this weird mucky gray color and it actually has some shine to bounce off but i love how all the blues came together and i love that it has like little waves in there you can definitely see the cell thing happening i hope it doesn't break through to the canvas but i will let you know because it's kind of popping all the way down in a lot of spots but we'll see i did it kind of thick so hopefully it'll spread out as it's popping through to the canvas i love the like ocean coastal happenings i will show you this when it is dry i'm sure it'll take a couple days so let's just fast forward but i have this like lock one i think this is five by five if i'm correct about an inch thick. We're gonna be using the same colors so I don't feel like wasting cups at this point. I'm gonna be using this strainer. Just afraid by how thick my cup of paint is that it won't go through the little holes. I'm still gonna save these little strainers for thinner paint. But this is a big strainer. I got it at Job Lot for a dollar the other day. Can't beat that. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 